Now welcome back to my channel ladies and gentlemen and thank you so much once again for watching this video. Please subscribe just in case you are here for the first time and also you can press the notification bell so that you can automatically receive the notifications from YouTube. Immediately I post a video here on this channel and to my subscribers I really want to appreciate you so much because without your support then this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch and I really don't take your support for granted. So today I'm not feeling quite well, I'm having some headaches, but I just want us to briefly uh, do a critical analysis of Ray Lodinga's trip to Dubai yesterday. So let me just show you, uh, this is what Ray Lodinga posted on his uh, Twitter account, he posted that photo there of him being in Dubai, and this was his caption, let me just show you on the screen, he says that, good morning, I want to remember what Winston Churchill once said. Success is not final. Failure is not uh, fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. I wish you uh, all a courageous day. So from that uh, caption, ladies and gentlemen, you can clearly tell that Relo Dinga is out there in Dubai for political uh, functions. And the reason as to why I'm saying this I personally believe that this caption by Ray Lodinka is clearly a coded message to President William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance when he says that success is not final. He clearly means that uh, William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance succeeded. He is uh, basically talking about William Ruto succeeding him. He is clearly talking about William Ruto outsmarting him and the Azimio Longmoja Alliance. But he has promised that that is not final. The success that William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance are having, are having uh, is not actually final. And also it talks about the failures. Personally, I believe that he's basically talking about uh, his failures together with the entire Azimio Longmoja Alliance. He's basically talking about the mistakes that they did basically in the previous 2022 general election and that is why they lost to uh, President William Ruto but is assuring uh, himself together with the entire Azimio Longmoja Alliance uh, leaders and supporters that failure is not, fa uh, is not fatal. It is the courage for you to continue not giving up uh, that matters. So that is the first reason. The second reason, ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe that Relo Dinga decided to take a break ahead of his return for the demonstrations across the country. And Ray Lodinga together with Azimio promised that uh, they're going to hold their first demonstrations on 2nd of May. So basically, if you have been following Ray Lodinga's uh, politics and you understand how he plays his politics, Ray Lodinga ahead of any demonstrations or any mass actions is he usually takes a break first of all, jets out of the country, then he returns back with a political uh, agenda that can, can engineer or can ignite the demonstration. The reason as to why I'm saying this, remember previously when Ray Lodinga held his first demonstrations in Kamukunji rally, I remember Ray Lodinga was actually in South Africa. And when he was in South Africa, then he talked about uh, or uh, the, 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 the whistleblower issue uh, or the IEBC whistleblower issue actually uh, was raised and it went viral when Ray Lodinga was still uh, in South Africa. So basically, this is the same same thing that Ray Lodinga is actually doing here. He's out there to uh, to take a break ahead of his uh, demonstrations on 2nd of May. And if you can still remember also previously, when Ray Lodinga was uh, jetting back to the country after his trip to South Africa, he was received by Kanozo Musioka in the airport together with other Azimio Longmoja Alliance leaders and they headed straight to Kamukoji. So basically here, this is the same same thing that Ray Lodinga is doing. And thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, according to my considered opinion, um, maybe Ray Lodinga is out there for the medical issues. I remember the last time Ray Lodinga was in Dubai. He was once there in Dubai simply because of uh, his uh, health issues and he was actually uh, or certain surgery was done to him so maybe 
this could be one of the reasons as to why reloading ejected out of the country abruptly. You know, he did not mention publicly to the country or to his supporters. The the, the, the supporters, as Mio Nomocha, like supporters and leaders, just saw him out there in Dubai, whereby he posted that photo. So basically here, maybe he was out there for medical issues. That could be one of the reasons. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ray Lodinga is out there in Dubai to come up with a certain political strategy. Is uh, implementing a certain political strategy, so he decided to take a break. And the reason as to why I'm saying this, remember earlier on, I talked about the whistleblower issue. Ray Lodinga implemented that strategy and ignited the whistleblower issue, the IEBC whistleblower issue, it went viral when Ray Lodinga was still in South Africa. So maybe Ray Lodinga is out there to implement a certain political strategy which will be basically uh, the excuse for his demonstration in 2nd of May. I clearly uh, think that Ray Lodinga will come up with excuses on why he is demonstrating on 2nd of May while the, uh, the bipartisan approach talks between both parties, the Azmiyo Naumoja Alliance representatives and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance representatives are out there to solve their issues. And I remember very well the majority leader of the Kenya Kwanza Alliance, Kimani Ichungo himself, promised reloading that uh, is the, the Kenya Kwanza Alliance is basically very much ready to listen to reloading us, uh grievances and they are ready to solve anything that Ray Lodinga and the Azimio Nomoja Alliance are complaining about uh, on matters to do with the previous 2022 general elections. So you can clearly tell that uh, the, Azim the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance are open. They have opened their door, they have opened their hearts to listen to Ray Lodinga. They promise that the only thing that they will not accept is the handshake between William Ruto and Ray Lodinga. Other, th other, other things, they are very much ready to, uh, to listen to them and to go uh, to give in to Azimio Naumoja Alliance demands. Remember when Kimani Chungwa also talked about the IEBC service, which Ray Lodinga has been demanding each and every time. So basically here, Ray Lodinga uh, is cornered and he has to come up with a different strategy. Because when the IEBC servers are being opened out there and the results comes out clean that Reloading actually lost the previous 2022 general elections to President William Ruto. It will basically become an embarrassment to Reloading and the Zimio Longoja Alliance because they have been pushing that agenda that Reloading won the elections with a total of eight, over 8 million, while William Ruto had uh, 5.9 million total votes. So basically, that was my critical analysis for today. That is the reasons as to why Reloading jetted out of the country. To Dubai. I don't know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye.